Good morning, happy Monday. Welcome to spring break week. It is spring break for us. So that means this guy's home. <laughs> we actually just took Ace for a good mile and a half walk, yep, I believe. Exactly a mile and a half. Yeah, so it is getting warm out there, you guys. It's supposed to be almost 90 degrees tomorrow. So yeah, definitely feeling like spring. Mason is not here. He ended up spending the night with some of his friends last night. So still waiting to hear back from him. We don't have any fun spring break travel plans because you guys know, you, I, I prop, you guys, there's baseball. There's baseball practice all week long. Besides today, coach gave the boys Saturday, Sunday, Monday off of practice for spring break. So today is the last day off for Mason. And then practice the rest of the week and ending with a game on Friday. So definitely lots of baseball for Mason this week. Um, just gonna try to get some stuff done around the house and at least we don't have work. True. No school for Mason, <laughs> so that's good. But all right, happy Monday, let's have a good week. Well, Jack and I just got back. We got the truck washed because it was much needed and then we went to Trader Joe's. We did this on our last vacation week. We went like first thing Monday morning, so we have food all week long, so hopefully we will not eat out and be able to like have food in the house. Speaking of Jack going with me, there's new items because he, when he goes shopping with me, he's like, he sees stuff that I normally don't see and he's like, ooh, this looks good, this looks good. So I will show you all the new stuff that we just picked up at Trader, Trader Joe's. You've got some explaining to do. What? <laughs> I said don't bring me. <laughs> <laughs> new items. This one is on me, you guys. I had to try. You guys know I love my cinnamon bears. So these are cinnamon dragons. I ate some on the car ride home because I was dying to try them. They're okay. So they're kind of like, um, oh crap, what are those candies? Hot tamales. So it's like hot tamales, but chewy. So I was looking more for like a cinnamon bear, but it's more like hot tamales that are soft, like chewy, they get stuck in your teeth. All right, so Jack, first thing. He put this in our cart, and when we were checking out, the guy that was bagging our groceries was like, that stuff's amazing. So Jack said, I have to make that at some point this week, so that will be done. And then he got these. I think this is actually a new item. I've never seen these before. For his coffees in the morning, he's gonna dip that in his coffee. And then you guys know that Jack and Mason love these big soft pretzels. He got pub cheese to dip them in. <laughs> um, I got this smoothie for Mason, it's just like a green smoothie. This, these are new, so I'm gonna make some salads this week, try to be somewhat healthy. Um, so I heard these are really good. Finally picked up this, I heard it's good. So just like chips and salsa, I actually have a Mexican meal that I wanna make at some point this week, so some yummy salsa. Jack got these to eat with, for lunch today. Um, haven't had this yet. You guys know we love to do like our chicken teriyaki, chicken teriyaki bowl. So me and Mason love our vegetables. So got that. Gonna try their teriyaki sauce for the first time. Has anybody had that? Leave a comment down below. Hopefully they're good. Mason's gonna be excited. His favorite chips are back. Um, we can't leave out the dog. It's St. Patty's Day this week. I think on Thursday. So yeah, he got a treat. Hey Ace, look. Is that for you? Want to try one? Tell daddy to open it. I think I got these last summer. They're amazing. So those are back in stock. And other than that, it's kind of all of our usual iced tea. This is gonna go with the Mexican meal that I we always pick up. Orange chicken is the best. So like I said, I'm gonna make salads. Got broccoli. Oh, I had to pick up green flowers since it's St. Patty's Day. Oh, this was something new. Jack threw those in last second. At least it's somewhat healthy, right? Almonds? Can't go wrong with that. I'm excited to try these tomatoes in my salad. They look funky, but I heard they're amazing. And of course, we're gonna probably do our pizzas. The boys love this bread. That's for the Mexican night. Whoever told, told us about the Brookies, every time now, we have to get them. And then I think over here is just kind of our, yeah, it's our meat for the week. Little Trader Joe, what are you trying? Oh. So, how are they? Are they spicy? No, they good. taste like wings though, like buffalo. Oh really? Yeah, it's good. Okay, I'll try one. Oh, that's weird. Yep. Spot on. It tastes like wing sauce. Ooh, it's a little spicy, it's getting me right there. 
All right, Jack. Put it all away now. Ace, it's your turn. Put it away. <laughs> Did he like his treat? Uh -huh. Did you like your treat? Was it yummy? Maybe he thinks I'm eating his treats now. <laughs> it does look like his package. Oh, buddy, those are spicy. You can't have those. Look who's home. Finally. <laughs> Mason is finally home, and I give him props because I gave him a time to be home, and he was on time, like on the dot. So, high five. Actually, yeah, because it's 3.01, 3.02 right now. I told him to be home by three, so. Good job, Mason, way to be responsible. But, here's why I needed him home at a certain time. You guys are gonna freak out. He has a hair appointment, what? <laughs> Finally, he's getting his hair cut. We see it in the comments. And no, you guys, he's not chopping off his hair. Sorry for all of you that say that he needs to chop off his hair, but it's definitely time for a trim. I was like, where should I take him to get his hair cut? Because if I take him to a barber, I don't know if they're used to like scissor cut everywhere. Like they are good with the razors, you know? I signed him up for an appointment where I get my hair done. So <laughs> that's where we're headed. A lot of the moms, cause I was kind of asking around, most of the boys on Mason's baseball team, it's a baseball thing, you guys, they all have long hair. I'm like, where do you guys take them to get their hair cut? They all take them to where they go, to their salons. So that's where we're taking him. So we're about ready to head out. But before we head out, while Mason was gone, there was a package that arrived for him. And I think, I think he wants to open it. Oh, he's ready. Is that what you wanted? I got oven mitt for cooking. <laughs> That's what mom calls them. They're sliding mitts, but I like to call them oven mitts. Yeah. Um, do you guys use these when you play baseball? Um, yeah, so there you go. He actually paid for it, honestly. I just ordered it off my Amazon Prime so it would get here, you know, the next day. Um, he had some Amazon gift cards that he got from, I believe, Christmas. So we went ahead and ordered that for him. So yeah, he doesn't have any baseball today, but he can take it to baseball tomorrow. And then he has the game on Friday. So I guess probably use it during practices first to make sure you like it and all that. Yeah. He's just like, wait, what are you gonna cook? What are you gonna cook me? Let's see. High five. All right, there you go. Hey, I'm all about the prote protection. Like I've told you before, if you have to wear a whole body armor suit, do it because protect yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yep. All right, there you go. Okay, now let's get one last look at this hair. Let's take the hat off. Oh wait, it's bad lighting. Let me come over here, hold on. Do, 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 do. Look at that hair. I am so jealous of this hair, but he definitely has like some split ends. So I, he, she's just gonna scissor cut it all the way around and then take some of the length off. <laughs> Ace. It's a toy. It's not a toy, buddy. Where's your toy? Here's your shark. Here, here's a toy. Ace. Ace. Are you practicing? No. <laughs> oh, you just kind of needs the space. Oh, somebody's missed you. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're about ready to head off to Mason's hair appointment. Um, Jack, he's editing. He's getting a head start on the vlog that will go up on Wednesday. Just like that, the haircut is done. <laughs> kind of looks the same. She did take an inch off the back. It's definitely shorter. Um, it just looks so much better, healthier. Do you love it? Yeah. Yeah? That was good. Yeah. You're not mad? No, I'm angry. <laughs> good, good. All right, so that, yep, there we go. That's the haircut. Yeah. We'll see what happens when it dries. But we're going to head into Five Below just because I wanna do a dance. <laughs> what you got there, Mace? So we just did. Yeah, we Aldi. Came in here just to look at it. Aldi for the first time. Didn't get a cart, didn't bring a shopping bag, which I know Aldi you have to do all that. I didn't think we were gonna buy groceries, but the boys were like, oh, that looks good, that looks good. We ended up needing a cart and I bought a bag. <laughs> but I, they said that we're gonna be getting an Aldi near us. So yeah, now that I've been into an Aldi, hopefully we get an Aldi by us. All right, how's that hair turning out, Mace? You wanna open that milk? Looks good. All right, turn around. Let's see now that it's dry. 
Looks good. Very good. Does it feel fresh, better? Yep. Feel lighter? This kid's leaving us again. We're about ready to drop him off again. And then we'll just head home and make dinner and have a little dinner night, Jack and I. We got steaks to grill up tonight and he still doesn't wanna come home with us, so. It is what it is. Why am I out of breath? Because I just carried groceries. Because we walked through a store with an arm full of groceries. And then... <laughs> no part, no bad. <laughs> all right, so Aldi for the win. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. We are all waking up. And no worries, you guys. First of all, our steak dinner was amazing last night. Thank you, Jack. He actually did it on the Blackstone. So yummy. But we had lots of thought, leftover steak. So I Mason, it was all right last night. <laughs> you weren't here for a steak, but. He still gets his steak and his breakfast burrito, so I chopped up all the extra steak last night and used it for breakfast burritos. Um, back to practice for Mason. His spring break from baseball is officially over. Um, I think he lived it up. He went, what'd you do? You bowled, you went um, laser tagging, you hung out with friends, you went to the mall, but back to practice today, so he has practice eventually. I think Jack and I are about ready to walk the doggo get some energy out of him and then give him a bath because at some point this week bought this over the weekend I want to clean the um, couch and some of our carpet so clean the dog first and then clean the couch seems like a plan but anyways it's Tuesday back to baseball for Mason that's a clean baby right there <laughs> he smells so much better. Mason's about ready to head off to baseball practice, but before he heads off to baseball practice, he ordered something and it just arrived. And you guys, it's from Baseball Lifestyle 101. So while we're at it, I'm gonna tell you, links are down below. You can get a discount, 15% off your entire order. Just type in Bevo's in the promo code. And like I said, use the link that's down below in the description box of this video. All right, so let's see what Mason, he actually just drove to the PO box to pick this up for himself. Obviously Jack was in the car with it. <laughs> No, we don't. They, they do make it easy to return, yes. FYI. Yeah, so. so you guys know that I wear a number one from Baseball Lifestyle to every one of Mason's games. So Mason was like, I want one. But there, there you, you go. go. Do you like it? I like the length. Yep. So they have different lengths. Do you remember the lengths? Uh, 18 inch, 20 inch, and 24 inch. Okay, so, so you went with like the middle one, right? Yeah. And then you pick out the number obviously. Yep, so they have any number combo you can think of, yeah, so whatever number you are. And Jack also, also just remind me that they do have cross necklaces, so with Easter coming Two up. Two baseball bats and form a cross. Yeah, so they're really, cool they're really nice looking. Easter baskets and all the things. All so, yeah, there you go. Baseball lifestyle. 101, use the link down below. Oh, we got a letter. Mason also oh, has a letter. Included some cool baseball cards, thank okay. you. And then it is Tucker. from Tucker. And there you go. Well, Mason will read it off the, off the camera, but very cool. Thank you, Tucker. Thank you, Tucker. That was nice of you. Where are they from, did it say? Illinois, White Illinois. Sox fan. Okay. All right, Mason actually has to really head off. He has to get to practice within 30 minutes, so. Have fun at practice. Thank you. Thank you for cards and the letters. I like that. Chicken too. That's nice. Thank you. Oh, since he's wearing it, links down below too if you guys want your plate crates. <laughs> yep. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. We are waking up. Um, sorry we didn't vlog too much yesterday. I don't know what happened. Mason came home from baseball practice and we just kind of enjoyed our evening together as a family because Mason actually stayed home for once. But anywho, it is breakfast time. When we were at Aldi earlier in the week, the boys found this bread. It's chocolate chip. So I was like, this morning, I'm like, I am going to bust that out and make some yummy French toast with it on the Blackstone. And then I'm cutting up my strawberries that we got from Sam's Club. And this doggo, Ace, do you want a strawberry? He loves strawberries. Whenever I bring out strawberries, he gets so excited. Do you want to sit? Sit, pound, 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 shake. Oh, good boy, okay. We'll take a shake, there you go. Assuming Mason, eventually he has been sleeping in to spring break, I don't blame him. And then he does have practice again today 
He said practice yesterday was long and hard, but it was like almost 90 degrees yesterday as well. So I think the heat, it's like the first like really hot practice. Um, so I've been telling them lots of water, but they ended up scrimmaging yesterday and he said he did really good. So that's good because we do have a game at the end of this week. So hopefully that carries over to his game. Do you miss your brother today? Mason's home from practice. We actually just got back from the store. Did you have good practice? Yep. Did not scrimmage today. He had an actual practice, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, so boring old practice. What? Boring old practice. Not boring Would old. you rather scrimmage or practice? No, it was, it was good practice though. Okay, well I'm glad it was a good practice. So Jack always calls Ace his Shamu. I mean, he's black, white, like Shamu. And then he gets up on his couch, and, or he gets up on the couch and kind of looks like, if you guys ever went to SeaWorld and watched the Shamu show, how they, I don't even know what that's called, where they just kind of like beach wow. themselves. Beach them wow. on the, the plastic piece there. They have a term for it. It's like the... I don't know. Yeah, I forget what it is. If you know what we're talking about, leave a comment down below. But when we were at the store to get chicken to grill out tonight, Jack had to. Does that look like you? Is that Aces? Get it. Uh-oh. Shamu! Oh, good boy! Do you love it? He's like, wait, am I allowed to play with this? That's I yours, buddy. That's yeah. yours. Your toy. That's Aces. Do you love it? Oh, look at that. It matches your white spot. Do you love it? There you go. You're spoiled. You're spoiled. But yeah, we just ran to the store. Once again, when I go to the store with Mason, this is what happens. Dude, no. Donuts? That is not me. <laughs> the donuts? That was Ace's decision. And um, St. Yeah. Patty's Day is tomorrow, you guys. So happy St. Patty's Day. Oh, we got St. Patty's Day cookies. But oh, tonight's dinner at least is going to be healthy. Chicken, rice, and broccoli. Good morning everyone. Happy Thursday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Don't have any green on. I'll, I better put, well I always have green because of my green eyes so I'm good. No pinching me. But anyways, Jack and I just took Ace on a long two mile walk. That's how we started off our St. Patrick's Day. Um, it is beautiful out. I mean Arizona weather is just awesome right now. If you guys watched over the weekend we bought the carpet cleaner so I'm busting it out right now. Um, I know some of you wanted some reviews, so I think we're going to try to do the couch, um, clean the couch right now. So another reason why we took the dog for a two mile walk. See how this goes? We'll let you all know our review on the carpet cleaner. Review of it is it's loud. It's really noisy. So be ready for that. Um, but I know probably all carpet cleaners are. All right, so this is the clean water with the solution. I did do a little bit of the carpet over there just to kind of do that first before I did the couch. That's disgusting, you guys. So that's just from the little corner over there where Ace's toys are normally. And then I just did the ottoman. I'm assuming it's just because it's wet. I'm a little nervous, so I don't know if I'm gonna let this dry before I do the rest of the couch. Worst case scenario, I guess we just call out the professional <laughs> if I ruin the couch. Hopefully they can fix it. But I'm pretty sure that's just wet and it'll eventually dry. So far, so good, I guess. So stay tuned. Oh, you guys, I'm getting a workout in. This is a lot of work, but I think it's working and it did dry. So here's where I'm at. All of the cushions are now done. This is almost completely dried. And I did all the cushions. You can see it's still wet a little bit. But we're getting there, we're getting there. Do have to say also it smells good in here, which that makes my heart happy because I love when my house smells clean. So the chemicals or the solution that you put in, um, it was, it came in the package, it's Bissell, but I was watching some YouTube videos. I know that you can buy like generic, which is probably a little bit cheaper, but you probably can even like come up with your own solution. So far, so good. It's gonna be nice to have a clean couch. Fast forward a few hours. I think the carpet is now clean. Or not clean. I know the carpet's clean because I cleaned it. I meant to say dry. The carpet is dry. We're gonna start moving things but there you go so definitely not if we got them professionally done but I think in between it's gonna work great and if there's ever any crazy spill or anything I think this thing this machine this machine
machine right here <laughs> is going to get it up. And the couch turned out amazing. I'm so happy with the couch situation. Okay, he's loving it. I know. He's been sleeping since we were done on the couch. You getting the couch dirty again? Huh? This is why the couch is dirty. You alive? He's home from practice. <laughs> Tired. Do you have green on? Do you have green on? Do you have green on? Oh, he does. Darn it. I was going to pinch him. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy Do you have a good practice? Yeah. Yeah. So we've been just kind of lounging on the couch, waiting for the carpet to dry, watching March Madness. So we were watching Gonzaga earlier. Of course they won. But anywho, Jack's bracket is already not doing too good. Mason's bracket seems to be doing all right. March Madness, who has been watching? Do you like watch? I love watching, even though ASU didn't get in this year. Um, I love watching college basketball. It's so exciting, especially when you get down to the wire of the um, brackets, like. Those games are intense and fun to watch. Anyways, um, yeah, we're just going to move the furniture back into this room, kind of just hang out. It is St. Patrick's Day, don't have any big plans. Definitely not gonna go to like an Irish bar or anything like that. We're just gonna stay home. I think we're gonna grill out and take it easy. But tomorrow Mason has his game. It's our last day of spring break. <laughs> is he playing defense? Come on, Ace. Jack just fired up the grill. I already put some food on the grill. <laughs> boys are out here playing. Yes, I say boys, because that's a boy. That's my other son. There's Jack. He's already put the food on the grill. Oh! Get it, Ace. We're actually using the regular grill. Not the Blackstone. He gets a break. They've been getting jealous of each other lately. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday, the day after St. Patrick's Day. But it's also game day for Mason. But you guys also know the drill. It's Friday, so the game's not going to be in this vlog. Sorry, you're going to have to come back to the next vlog to watch Mason's baseball game. But finally made it to the game. I swear he's had practices all day. 12 to three he practiced every day this week. And that kind of stunk because that allowed us not to do anything for spring break. But that's okay, we saved money. We got things done around the house. But yeah, I'm gonna just do my usual Friday chores before Mason's game today. Pull out all of the Eastery stuff. I think the first day of spring is Sunday too, so it is time. Time to bring out the spring stuff. That's breakfast. Good morning. Thank you. How are you? You're welcome. You ready for game day? Yep. Yeah? All right. Well, good morning. Happy Friday. Last day of spring break. Boo. You know the drill. It's Friday. We're going to wrap this thing up early. Tune back to the next vlog to see Mason's baseball game and our weekend adventures. I'm not sure what we have planned yet, but maybe a little bit more March Madness, maybe something exciting. We gotta get out of this house and do something, maybe a spring training game, I don't know. Anyway, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, do all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, we will see you. You wagging your tail? Next time.